Top Mustang Stadium on the All Access Post Game Show. Glenn Clark, MC McFadden, and the coach of the Mustangs joining us after an 18 8 victory. She is Kathy Raley. Coach, all good cop today. All good oh, cop, I promise. When you win, there are just good cops everywhere, <laughs> aren't there? There's, we, did, we did no wrong today, right? Well, let's start with the second half defense because that it really jumped out at me. In the first half, you allow six goals. In the second half, just absolutely stifling. Mac was clearly great throughout the course of the game. She was a little out of focus in the first half. We knew that. We talked to her. We wanted to give her a good warm up at halftime to, to you know, have her see some shots. She was still a little off. She Sometimes she just needs that one big save, and she's a totally different goalie, uh, which is characteristic of a young goalie, I think. So I was so glad to see that in a kind of off first half, she was able to bring it back and be a better goalie in the second half. Same with defense. I mean, this team isn't without firepower. So to hold them to two goals in the second half was really, really important. You seem like you keyed in on Christy Rohr in the process. I mean, she was Absolutely. Complete, after the three in the first half, she had yeah. not even a chance in the second half. Well, we did a few different things, and we, we I think we slid a lot better. And and even though they have firepower, they're kind of a one-trick pony with how they're doing that. So, it was, you know, we get better as each um, each possession of theirs goes. I think we learn a little bit more. We weren't getting called in shooting space. We were giving them no gimmies. Yeah. One thing you were so proud of your team last weekend was mm -hmm. that you had no yellow cards. Yeah. Um, today, I think it was four. Oh, this sounds like bad cop. This so sounds no, like bad no. cop. Actually, it's not bad cop. I. I was going to sort of say that yeah. I didn't think that they were all really well-deserved yellow cards. Uh, we had, I think, two or three that – two. I think two two were deserved and two were not. But uh, I think we saw just you know more yellow than feathers on Big Bird today. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like that? That was for Glenn. Did, did you prepare that, that one? I did. Did, did you prepare you? that that's one? That is. Because some, some of your more yellow then <laughs> make me laugh. So I've been thinking about a good one, so I'm going to try to come that, up with one and, every and time. You know, my son is obsessed with Sesame Street. He's not so obsessed that is. with Sesame Street. That is straight. wonderful. Yes. That is so yes. good. Uh, offensively, great throughout, obviously. And this is coming off now, I think, over the course of the last three games, you're at about 60 goals over the span sure. of three games. Um, I know that it's not the same competition right. that you're playing in the beginning of the year, but I would imagine that you're very happy with how that's I, I'm happy with how we're moving the ball. We're still turning the ball over more than I'd like, and that's going to have to go away in these final weeks of April. Um, you know, we're, we, we still have Albright to see. We still have Alvernia to see. Um, we still uh, we have to, we can't be handing them possessions because these teams are a little more more, uh, a little stronger in, in firepower. So if we keep handing them possessions, they're going to tally on the board, and then we're, I don't want to get behind that way. So I want to capitalize on every possession being at least a good shot. If their goalie makes a save or they make a great defensive play, that's fine. I don't want to hand them possessions. One thing that we were really impressed with today mm -hmm. was on when you, when your kids fouled and Widener had their free positions, you scored on man down. Three, three man goals. down goals. Yeah. yeah. Well, we don't want to stop going to goal. And uh, we do want to make sure our defense gets a break. Uh, absolutely. But we don't want to stop. If I sat there and told a good attacker or somebody who thought they could score not to because we were man down, mm -hmm. what am I doing? I'm, I'm pulling back the reins on something. We'll take it. We'll take it. And we looked at the time a couple times. I actually called out to the defense once and said, do you want me to call red? You want no shot on this? They said, no, take it. We got wow. it. So, you know, and, and that's important to have that kind of team chemistry. They say, I trust that girl on the line. Let's see if she can get it. Or I trust them to go to goal and make good choices. No doubt about it. Mm -hmm. You know, Coach, we talked early in the season after the Messiah game. We said, can you get there? <laughs> can you get to where you will need to be when you get back to the, the postseason tournament? Right. You're about five games removed from that now. Do you feel like you're getting there? We are getting there. We're not there yet. We are getting there. Clear was better today. Our redefense still needs a ton a ton of work. We're still letting a teams easily transition the ball through the 30s. So I want to get tougher with that. The turnovers like we talked about and the yellow cards. If we can do turnovers, yellow cards, redefend, I think that we're a different team heading into the end of April. I don't think that the other teams we're playing are going to be ready for us. But those three things are important. Coach, uh, all good cops. Great, thank all you. good cops. Thank Congratulations. <laughs> Coach Kathy Raley coming up here and chatting with us now. We